Chinese line dance drum tutorial. Um, I consider myself a beginner. I'm um, still trying to work harder to get better at this, but as I learn, I want to make some potentially helpful instructional videos. So this is the Chinese line drum. It's a big drum. It comes with sticks. These are extra sticks. The sticks that I bought, actually the ones that come with the drum are smaller, but I ended up purchasing larger ones that are longer. Um, I just noticed that you could you can move quicker with it. So I do recommend the longer sticks if you could get them. Um, the way that we're going to hold the sticks is pretty much holding it like this. All right. Um, just your, having your, your fingers free at the end, kind of holding it down here. That's how I like to do it. Um, I just want to go over some, like, you know, just some basic rhythms, basic, you know, just techniques that I like to do. Um, and then you kind of, there's like a traditional way of doing the Chinese line dance um, drumming, and I'm still trying to learn it. It's like, to me, it's very difficult, but I do have bits and parts of certain rhythms that I could show that you could try it out on your own um, and see how you do. Um, but basically, one thing that I like to do is just basically hitting on the sides like this. So it's just... Alright, so we could also do like a 1, 2, 3, or just like a 1, 2. We could just do it one time. And you do like three times. We do four times. Five times. Six times. All right, so seven times. certain rhythm that we could do as well, which is, um, well I'll go over that later. Something else you could do is um, basically just hitting your stick while you're touching the stick to the drum. It makes a different type of noise or sound. Other things you could do is hitting the drum and then stopping it with your hand. So that kind of just stops the vibration. You'll notice that the sound it sounds different. If I just hit it without stopping it, you'll hear the vibration, right? But if you just hit it, you can stop it with your hand and it stops the vibration. Okay, other things that you can get a different sound from this thing is where you're hitting it on the drum. Like I'm hitting it right here, not on the center, but just kind of off center. That's how it sounds. But I can also hit it in the center of the drum, which I don't really see that many people doing it, but it does give a different sound if you hit to the center. That's how it sounds if you hit to the center. That's the center. This is off center. Okay, and then something else you can do is hit the sticks together. So you get all these different sounds. You notice that the sides here, right? You got the, the, the off center from the drum. You got the center of the drum. And then you just got the sticks. And then what else you got? You got putting the stick on the drum and then hitting the stick. So you just get these different sounds and my thing is just kind of like creating your own little rhythm, creating your own little style. But there is the traditional Chinese line dance style drumming, which to me is hard to learn and I'm still trying to learn it. But I do got bits and parts of certain uh, rhythms that I could show. Um, we can hit the, this, the drum right here. Um, just basically, this is the rhythm right here, hitting like two times and then 
waiting for a little moment, hit another two times, and hitting to the side. So it kind of looks goes like this. So you see like one, two, one, two, pop. just like the intensity of how you hit it like you can hit it really soft or you can hit it harder considered medium, so it's like a soft, medium, and then really hard. So, you know, just like different, like, levels of hitting it, like soft, medium, and hard, that changes, like, how it sounds as well, okay? Also, the pace of it, um, there's something else we could do where it just kind of goes faster. So it's just gonna be like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it'll be like a one, two, three. So if I slow it down, it'll be. If I did it faster, it'll be like this. do another thing that I that I like is hitting it here one two three and then hitting four right here to the stick so it'll be actually now I like to do one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six so I like to hit two times here one two hit three here four five and then six so it'll be like faster it'd be like this so that's another rhythm that I, that I like to do um, and you can kind of like do it like a kind of like a combination, but combinations to me is a little bit more difficult, you know, because there's just so many different things that you could do. Um, something else that I like to do is just hitting it here and then popping it here instead of here. There's a shorter distance from here to here, so it makes like a different type of rhythm, a different type of sound. And plus, instead of hitting it at the end of the stick right here, you're hitting towards the middle of the stick, and it sounds just a little bit different. So if I went like here, one, two. And then I hit to this down here. But it sounds different than this. Okay, so I can also do that really fast because it's closer to me from here. So I could do it faster than if I did it from over here. So it would be like this if I did it faster. So then I could add that into this one and that'd be like a combination. So I'd be like If I did it slow, it'd be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be like this. basic rhythms that I like to do. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm kind of end it right there. 
I will make some more tutorials showing other things that I like to do. But like I said, I'm just a beginner. Um, I'm just trying my hardest to get good at this. Like I, I love drumming, and I really want to get good at it. Like I really want to get that traditional drumming style that they do. But I noticed that it takes a lot of work. And um, hopefully, you get a little bit out of this video and kind of help you out a little bit. Thank you.